cast out on the top of my niggas are very your father <laughs> What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Matt Goddard. When we out here at this park, man, I can't even say the affiliation no more because you know it's the whole thing now. It's the playground, man. It's the playground, so you know you got all the parks combined in just the one big park. But for real, for real, we out here at Old Town, man. Out here saucing that Old Town right now. But I'm bringing you out like the new, the little new speed boost glitch, man. The little new like speed boost glitch. How to get to the basket faster. And everybody else, man, how to get past your defender real fast. And just how to just straight just sauce in the park, bro. But as you see in this game, bro, I'm playing with straight randoms. I'm not playing with no one in Gotham Gang. The dude, the center on my team, I really just got like just pissed off at in the middle of the game. Um, I went to game chat. I was just, just straight going off on him, bro. Cause like I don't know what was going through his head. He just was not passing the ball or whatever. But I really had the we was both contributing to the team because we had a 61 overall on our team so you know it's real hard for us to even try to get a w but we end up taking an l in this game only for the fact just because of what was going through like this game bro like what was going between me and the center like i was just straight going off bro i was just straight going off on him at the end of the game i don't know he said i wasn't passing for real like i was just trying to set up like actually do something you see i'm pass i was passing him the ball like every single possession trying to get a shot open but i was really just trying to show y'all like what the effective kind of like speed boost does for real you see like it kind of works sometimes it kind of doesn't sometimes but most of the time it does be working though um at the end of this video i will show you guys what the speed boost is if you just fin finish throughout the uh throughout the whole gameplay but it is a pretty effective move man i actually learned it from i forgot who it was i think it was dr 2k but he just showed me the move and it, it it's been pretty good, bro. It's been pretty good. It's probably one of the best rhythm dribbles, like, in the game right now uh, compared to, like, the ones last year. Because this year, like, the dribble moves are kind of, like, a little different. I don't necessarily like the dribble moves this year because they just feel like they just feel like NBA Live dribble moves. But it is kind of easy to really, to, like, learn and actually start doing in the park after you get your player, like, an 85 or whatever. Because when, in this year... To get like different types of dribble moves, you can't just buy them like buying with VC and all that. You actually have to like earn your stuff and actually just go through my career or whatever or the park. You have to earn your dribble moves. I didn't know that at first. I I was really confused as soon as I started 2K. I was just all just throwing off. I didn't even play prelude. I just went straight to just NBA 2K18. But you actually got to get your overall higher so you can get different dribble moves. And like I mean 2K did 2K did a pretty good job bro like some of you guys are saying 2k is trash and all that for most of the fact like 2k this year is probably the most realistic game that 2k has ever had for real, for real. they just need like i said in the other video they just need to tweak a little bit like a, a couple things but other than that this game is fine bro this game is fine uh no other like build is like unguardable like last year the sharp shoes are unguardable and stuff like that no build has like a specific dominance or whatever everyone's basically the same bro everyone's basically the same um people just looking for that one build that you can just start just going off with it's not gonna be like that bro like 2k is actually getting hip to like actually like new stuff and all like the little glitch dribble moves and, uh, and stuff people aren't glitching and stuff and dribble moves going crazy if you know how to dribble you know how to dribble if you don't you don't and like people don't make fluke shots this year like you see the dude last year that probably would have been just just buckets like last year that would have been just straight buckets but this year it's like when the dude gets past me if he goes up for a dunk and i press triangle i block it it's just i'm straight blocking it last year it's like the dude go for a dunk if he beats me and then like my hand will warp through him it's none of that this year bro it's none of that in the screens especially i can actually go around the screens you can't actually get caught up in the screen if they go one way and then they just switch lanes you can actually judge which way you want to go but this is the part right here i really got mad dude just did not pass the ball fast enough and he did it like one more time like later in the game you'll see i we was just had we were just having him like 
an argument, like a whole argument at the end of this game because like dude was just not playing right, bro. Like dude was just not playing right. But you see little Odell right there, look sauce guy. Oh, see I'm about to take the shot right there. And they took the little glitch hop steps and stuff out the game. So like 2K, they really they really toned down the game and all that, bro. So I really like what they did with the game. Ronnie actually stepped it up this year. Um, they actually kind of kind of listened to the community, but um, they do need to change like the rest of the stuff because my court it takes like ages to get to the my court. And what people don't realize, like I mean, the game hasn't even came out yet fully, bro. Like the game really comes out. I think it's either Monday or Tuesday. So they still have time to really change the game over this weekend. Actually, just tone in to actually do stuff, particularly to the game. I not realized that because when I was going to my mock court, like stuff was just glitching out. I couldn't go into my closet, whatever. But they're actually toning it down, bro. But I will be on this upload grind, all just all 2K18, trying to actually get back on track, cause I did fall off. And there's a lot of other YouTubers that's trying to come back, bro. So yeah, y'all should actually go check out their videos. Cause they really, they really try and get back on track, bro. Just like me. Um, the only reason some YouTubers fell off is because just 2K17 was just straight trash, bro. And I think it was really the year for like Dribble Gods or whatever to actually come up. Cause Dribble Gods actually just, just straight just went off like over the past years. Like I run you, tank the tank and all that. Th those are the YouTubers that actually kind of just came up, really like a lot. Cause the game was just straight trash, bro game was just straight trash uh, a lot of youtubers quit i myself i quit for like a good three months that's really why like i fell off i fell out real hard like for real i didn't want to post the game at all because like the game was just straight trash but this game i can see myself posting bro i'm not gonna be grinding i'm not gonna be grinding from the overall i'm gonna be grinding for uploads and stuff like that i'm not gonna try to be the first 99 overall just straight no life on the game i mean i gotta go to school and stuff like that so i'm not gonna straight no life that's not for me, bro. That's that's nowhere near for me. Like, and just I realized, like, overall and rep and stuff, it's just it's no point no more, bro. Unless you actually jumping out to get something and actually trying to become like the first 99 overall. I mean, you're dumb, bro. Like, if you're like as of right now, if you're 85 or whatever, if you're anything lower than like an 88, your, your grind's over. There's just always someone that's already higher than you, bro. It's, I think it's someone that's already 89, 90. I don't know. I'm still at 85. I just got the VC, just put on my character. And I'm just still ground, like, getting badges and all that. I'm just looking just to have fun on the game for real, for real, bro. I'm not really looking into anything. But you see right now, it's 20 to 20. We could have really capped off the game for real, for real. But it's just the center, bro. The center, bro. But that was actually probably my fault. But... The screens, they did not help me out at all. Like, I'm just getting straight, just screen, just back to back. I was going around them, but, like, they just wasn't doing anything. Center wasn't doing anything. I, did, I didn't really care about the game, bro. We took an L. I was running with straight, straight randoms, bro. I just tried to get the gameplay out to y'all. But the rhythm dribble that you need to have equipped for this to happen, I think you got to be, like, an 80 overall, higher 70. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But... For the rhythm dribble, you want to have normal 8 on so you can actually speed boost to the paint and actually do something like that. Just straight, just straight go past people for real, for real, man. But that's the end of this video, man. Like, share, subscribe, comment. It helps you like the video.